What is up, guys? Michael Lee XRP back on Fiction Crypto. Um, today we will be talking about Stronghold. So Stronghold is actually a native uh, Stellar asset. It runs on the Stellar network, and Stronghold is a digital currency designed for cross-ledger liquidity. Uh, it is used to send and receive value across modern virtual payment networks. So Stronghold um, has a lot of uh, features. Um, such as ledger agnostic, which means it is issued on a permissioned closed networks, so it's safe and secure. Uh, the currency information is network participants can audit transactions at any time, which is great. Um, so that's a part of decentralization that the participants themselves can audit their transactions, uh, get information on the transactions, and make sure everything is as it should be has multi-wallet support, so you can store Stronghold with popular, popular wallets like Lobster, Solar, Keybase, and also Rabbit. That is where I have my Stronghold tokens on Rabbit wallet. There is real-time clearing and settlement of transactions. Uh, so within seconds, you will see a transaction be settled from the sender to the receiver. Here's their Discord right here. And some frequently asked questions are, uh, is Stronghold on Stellar or Ethereum? Well, that's the cool thing about Stronghold, that it has cross-ledger compatibility. So it's available both on Stellar and Ethereum as an ERC-20 token. Uh, they did this for cross-ledger value transfers using Stronghold, as well as to make interacting with Stronghold easier for developers and traders alike on multiple blockchains. The maximum supply of Stronghold is 100 billion tokens, and this is a fixed limit, cannot be increased. Um, so let's go on to their white paper. Here's their disclaimer. Enabling simple and powerful payment tools uh, to provide fat. So the, here's their mission right here. Their mission is to provide fast, secure, and accessible financial services for all. Their vision is to build a more inclusive, stable, and connected global economy. And this is their leadership team right here. So here we have Tammy Camp, who is the CEO and co-founder. Uh, Tammy has quite the resume in fintech itself um she is the founder and ceo of action factory as well um, as stronghold and she was a distribution partner for 500 startups which is a global venture capital firm with a network of startup programs for founders mentors and investors and they are located in san francisco and this is really cool right here. She was the head of growth at Stellar Development Foundation. So um, as Stronghold is a native asset on the Stellar network, it's very cool to see that their founder and CEO uh, has experience within uh, the Stellar team itself. Um, very good thing to see. Uh, as you can see right here, she was also the, my bad, let's pull this up the product and or the head of product and business development at uh, Walmart Labs, which is a tech division responsible for Walmart's global e-commerce initiatives. That's really cool to see. I mean, Walmart, uh, what a giant company and their e-commerce uh, platform is just huge. Um, it only contested by Amazon. So uh, some real experience here in the business, e-commerce, and financial um, sectors. Really cool. So now we're going to go back to the white paper. Here's the rest of the team. Y'all can check them out individually if you'd like. But that was just the CEO and co-founder of uh, Stronghold, Tammy Camp. So here are uh, some companies that they've been partnered with. Stellar, Lyft, Gap, Coinbase, JP Morgan, um, 
NYU, Stanford, Deutsche Bank, or Deutsche Bank. Uh, that those are some big names. Very cool to see. And here is a um, list of their investors and advisors. At the very top, first one we see is someone who's a part of the founding team of Square, which is now called The Block. Um, I'm sure everyone or most people are familiar with Square as they have the uh, little attachment for your phone so that you can take uh, credit cards, debit cards, um, you know, those transactions for your business. And Square actually owns uh, Cash App. So it, Square is one of the largest fintech companies within the U.S. So to see that someone, a part of the founding team, Foursquare is an investor uh, and or advisor for Stronghold. Very cool to, to see. Uh, Bancorp Bank, seen their name before. So the co-founder of Bancorp Bank is on this list. Once again, another great thing to see. So Stronghold, uh, their platform enables payments with the highest degree of compliance and interoperability across legacy and modern payment networks. So since Stronghold is a native asset of the Stellar network, it is ISO 222 compliant. Here is a chart of their growth. Uh, through channel partnerships, Stronghold enables point of sale software solutions to embed payments and virtual payment networks for commerce transactions. So this will be talking about the Stronghold token and the use cases. Uh, they use Stronghold, um, the token, to encourage loyalty and give out rewards to the community. Gives you access to capital through DeFi solutions and governance. Uh, so you get to vote on proposals and amendments um, in the Stronghold ecosystem. Love to see that. Uh, their target is 1 million asset holders by 2023, so it's a great goal to have. Definitely see it as being feasible. Um, in the last 90 days, I'm not sure when this was published or updated, but they had uh, 9,000 new stronghold holders in 90 days, 200% growth, membership growth on Discord, 16x on trading activity, and a peak 24 hour volume of 3.6 million. These are their all time stats. So here are their reward programs. Just gonna be sliding through this. There's a lot to go over um, with this platform. And, oh, let's see. Yep, right here. So faster, cheaper, data-rich payments for Stronghold Network participants, integration with the white-labeled virtual payment network product with ISO 222 support. That is a phenomenal thing to see. Um, to be ISO 222 compliant is very important in this day and age for um you know, cryptos that have uh, low fees and fast transactions, we want to see that they are ISO 222 compliant. For every dollar transacted through the stronghold payment method, top venture capital funds will earn stronghold rewards. Wow. All right, so moving on from the white paper, we will be going to this article right here where we see that uh, Stronghold and Stellar's number one partner, IBM, launches a stable coin backed by FDIC insured banks. So originally the name was going to be USD Anchor, but they have since changed the name to Stronghold USD, which I personally like a lot better. Um, and oh, one cool shortcut that you can use if you're uh, looking through an article and you want to find a keyword, you can press Command F 
And then this will come up right here. So you see, I already have stronghold in here. And it will find uh, every single time stronghold is mentioned. So that's really useful. Hopefully that helps uh, some of you. So IBM's partner in this venture, Stronghold and Stellar, bring different sets of capabilities. Stellar is similar to Ripple in that its focus is on cross-border transfers. However, its markets are different. Unlike Ripple, which has forged alliances with banking institutions across the world, Stellar enables transfers with, within developing economies. As of this writing, Stellar's cryptocurrency, Lumens, is the sixth most valuable coin in the world and has a market capitalization of $5.1 billion. Stronghold is an anchor or a bridge between fiat currencies and Stellar's network. All money transactions in the Stellar network occur in the form of credit issued by anchors like Stronghold. So, exclusively for IBM WorldWire participants, which WorldWire is uh, IBM's financial product uh, that they use or that they offer um, internationally. And Stronghold USD is a digital dollar with instant settlement solution for real time time payments. So this is their stable coin right here. Uh, claiming to be safer than cash, it provides instant US dollar settlement for IBM World Wire Network participants. Issued on a permissioned and closed safe network. Uh, we actually read all this already. So now we will watch the video by Stronghold's uh, Chief Technical o Officer, Sean Bennett. Stronghold wants to provide a better financial infrastructure that would reach both the underbanked uh, population as, as well as cater for some of the larger organisations. One of the big problems is we've introduced a, a whole heap of new currencies that people don't know how to use, uh, they don't even know what they are. What Stronghold wants to do, and is doing, is taking existing currencies and making those as tokens on top of blockchain technologies. So what we are now able to do is move around these units of value as though they were another cryptocurrency, but they're actually stable. They're based on a traditional sovereign currency that everyone will understand already. Stronghold and IBM have been collaborating together on the Stronghold US dollar, which is a stable coin that has been introduced into IBM's Worldwide network. This particular technology is disruptive because it enables us to get payments to people in, in the middle of nowhere effectively in seconds, not hours or days as the case might be. So that's a game changer because it allows people to not have to hold their funds necessarily with the large financial institutions. So that was the CTO, Sean Bennett, right there. Um, so Stronghold USD is a stable liquid USD token, and it's 100% backed by the United States dollar deposits. Stronghold USD is used for cross-border payments and US dollar reserves. And so um, this is about anchors. And anchors basically are a link between the Stellar network and traditional banking rails. So anchors connect the Stellar network to traditional banking rails so that all the world's currencies can interoperate on a single seamless platform. By providing access to local on-off ramps, they empower the apps and services built on Stellar to provide borderless access to financial infrastructure. So today's payment landscape is fragmented. Each region has its own payment scheme. Uh, automatic Clearinghouse is one of the prop, uh, popular financial products that people use. Um, but ACH, along with the rest, they're not interoperable, right? So uh, we're stuck with outdated systems like SWIFT and the correspondent banking model. So this is exactly what Stronghold uh, solves. It's a solution for these outdated products. Um, and they bridge these disparate local payment systems. Stellar makes it possible to represent the world's currencies in the form of digital fiat tokens 
uh, just as Sean Bennett was explaining, on one decentralized ledger where they can all interoperate freely. This allows currencies to interoperate not only among each other, but also among all the wallets and apps that leverage the Stellar network to provide users a wide variety of cost-effective financial services. So that is it for today. Um, we will be having a second video to go over the rewards and the DeFi um, capabilities of Stronghold. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out Stronghold yourself. We will have a link in the description. Um, oh, lastly, let's go over the price chart. Um, so currently the price is at just shy of a penny. It's at 0 0.0084. And here is the price chart. So based on this price chart, um, we have inefficiency right through here. And this is where I could see a bounce um, based on inefficiency. But this is what the current price chart looks like. Here is the all-time high of 0 0.017185. And the all-time low is 0 0.0037, or really 0 0.0038. But that is the price chart. So we'll just have to see what happens, but I could definitely see it dipping down into here and then having a bullish reaction. Uh, once again, none of this is financial advice, purely educational. I hope you learned something here today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. And check out Stronghold yourself. Alrighty, Michael Lee XRP at Fiction Crypto, and we are out.